uh, top five NFL teams that have improved so far in free agency. And look, I realize that this is just on paper for the most part. And uh, and I'll start out by saying number five is the Raiders. And I picked this over the Broncos for the simple fact that I like the Chandler Jones signing just a little bit more than I like Randy Gregory. Uh, the Raiders went out and got, I know it's not free agency, but it's a trade. Devonta Adams, this was a playoff team a year ago. Uh, in spite of everything that happened, I like what they have going on offense. I like what they have going on defense. I think the Raiders, uh, and, and that's going to be a tough division for all four of those teams. That's going to be maybe the most fun one to watch in all of football uh, in that, you know, the Chiefs have gotten a little bit worse and everybody else has gotten a little bit better and it's going to be it's going to be raucous in the AFC Incredible West. Incredible division. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You're the Raiders. You've made all these moves and are you even in a better position than you were? <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, are you? Uh, you? I mean, you're a better team, but are, have you gotten better than the other teams in your division? I don't know that you have, uh, but you've definitely gotten it better. i uh, definitely gotten better. And yeah, Devontae Adams, I mean, that was a huge move. Uh, very surprising. I know there's some scuttlebutt prior to that, especially they're probably talking about it in Green Bay and Las Vegas more so, but that still seemed like a little bit of a bombshell when it dropped. So, Great target for Derek, uh, Derek Carr. You know, I know the whole college teammate thing, but, you know, does that mean that they're going to be like Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams? I'm not sold on well, that. Well, I mean, because Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers exactly. and Derek Carr is Derek Carr. Yeah, so uh, they'll still be good, but I don't think it's going to be Rodgers, Adams 2.0 necessarily, no matter if they went to elementary school together. But, yeah, Chandler Jones was another good one, and they've been very active. So, yeah, I think the Raiders made some good moves and uh, shored up a big playmaker, which was even more necessary after the Henry Ruggs situation. So I'm curious to see what they do in the draft to kind of flesh it out some more but uh, I've liked what the Raiders have done I like those weapons that Derek Carr has in Waller yeah. Adams and, and Hunter Renfro's great Hunter Renfro's fun to watch man uh, really like that guy uh, even though he did go to Clemson no he's very very good yeah, yeah he's very good number four the Bills uh, the Bills have made some other smaller signings O'Shea Howard at tight end but the big one was look why are the Bills not talking about being the AFC champions right now it's because in the moment where they needed to get to Patrick Mahomes they could not so what do they do? Go get a guy who's gotten after Patrick Mahomes in the past and Von Miller, who, in spite of being in his 30s, is still a very effective player. Plug and play in that defense. Uh, I really liked, you know, look, what's our problem? Let's go solve it. And uh, and they did that. Yeah, they did. I mean, that was a massive move. And, you know, from all the places to go, I think that's what you got to be excited about if you're uh, the Bills is that, you know, when, when, when would a free agent like him choose the Buffalo Bills? It's been a long time. You know, when, when would, that, would that typically happen? So I think that speaks volumes about where they are, where they're headed, what people think of Josh Allen, what people think of the coaching, and what people just think. Yeah, I think the fan base plays a lot into it too. I think guys know that Buffalo's got a rabid fan base that loves their Buffalo Bills. And so I, I loved, you know, got kind of used to not seeing them involved in it. it sort of like growing up, I, I kind of began to despise the Bills because I got tired of them it's like every yep. year like you just go and lose in the Super Bowl it's like let me see something new and different uh but you know then they went away for a while for a, you know the most part and to see them there doing their thing and with the way that Josh Allen's able to do his thing is is, is pretty cool so yeah definitely rooting on the Bills to continue on this this journey but they, they've made themselves better for sure still one of the greatest endings of a game in just the the wildfire that ending between the Bills and Chiefs, I think I, I could yep. ever remember. Yep, number three, the Colts. Um, you know, and this is really just to me based on one move. This is a team I thought was on the cusp last year, and then their quarterback situation kind of hurt them. Look, they get rid of Carson Wentz and get a haul that's way more than Carson Wentz is worth, and then bring in a veteran quarterback who's still pretty good, Matt Ryan, who is not. Um, there's no differing opinion on Matt. Matt Ryan in the locker room. Everybody likes Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan's a leader. Carson Wentz, between front office, locker room, coach, nobody's on the same page about him wherever he goes. Matt Ryan is that guy, and should they get him another weapon or two, I, I really like the Colts to push the Titans uh, for that division title. Well, it's a good thing that Carson Wentz is going to a stable organization, and that'll work out really well for him. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, that's kind of one of those things where um, you know, dysfunctional people are attracted okay, to each other. If, yep. they, if they had not gotten him where would they be with their quarterback who same else? exact place yeah. exactly yeah, yeah they, mean, would, they still would have missed on some of these but where guys. are they with him like I we don't know. even know like they might be the exact same and so what was the point i mean that's the thing is like is he going to be better than what they've had i mean it'd be hard not to be quite frankly if anything they've been you know punching above their weight at quarterback at times so i mean wince um uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm really curious to see what he does. But I, I liked that the Colts, I mean, it was clear that was not a fit anymore, and, and they needed to move on. So they moved on, and they moved on in a major way. And, you know, maybe Matty Ice can get himself a Super Bowl ring. Lord knows he did everything but get it sized up a couple of years ago. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll be interesting to follow. Yeah, number two, the Browns. Uh, and, look, Deshaun Watson, Amari Cooper, uh, getting a backup in Jacoby Brissett, uh, who can hold water for you and probably win some games while you're waiting. Uh, and, look, if Baker Mayfield's not your guy, spinning him off for draft picks is fine. I'm a Baker Mayfield believer in that I think he can be a winning quarterback in the right situation, which is probably going to be Seattle. Uh, it, you know, right now. So if that's that's what happens, I think that can work out for him. I think Baker can win. Uh, if you if you commit to building around Baker, the Browns obviously got, you know, um, stars in their eyes about Deshaun Watson and made this gigantic deal. And, you know, right now you got to say that, you know, from, you know, it's a jump. Deshaun Watson's a better player than Baker Mayfield is. Amari Cooper is a better wide receiver than anybody that they had there. Uh, and their defense has still got some pretty good guys on it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's Cleveland, so I'm almost waiting yeah. for it to just end disastrously. But, I mean, if Deshaun Watson is even close to what he was a couple of years ago when he was still a fan favorite and, and not dealing with all these issues, then, I mean, that's a massive upgrade, in my opinion, over Baker Mayfield. Amari Cooper, I think he can be a little... I don't want to call him flaky. He's just he's different, man. He's, he's a little different. Um you know, maybe being in a smaller media market like Cleveland, not that it's like tiny or anything, but compared to the Cowboys and just how much that's uh, beaten over our heads, um, you know, maybe that'll that'll help him out. But yeah, I mean, you go get the Sean Watson and Amari Cooper and, uh, you know, they've made a couple of other moves, not nearly as high profile, but that alone should get you excited for the Browns and seeing what their new look is next year. Uh, and number one, the Miami Dolphins. Look, when you say Tyreek Hill, Teron Armstead, um, I mean, some of the other stuff, like, you know, we, I'm a big Cedric Wilson fan, so I like getting guys like that on my team, even though that's not going to register in the, you know, Tyreek Hill thing. But uh, Raheem Mostert, who's a favorite of your of your new coach, you know, you've got those Chase Edmonds, who's a, a, a player they've improved dramatically at running back is something they needed to do. They have taken away every excuse they have except the quarterback or for the quarterback in, in Tua Tagovailoa. So, you know, Tua's now got the weapons, you know, and – Miami can can maybe make a playoff run in AFC East. It's it's going to be tough with a good Patriots team and a good and a really good Bills team in there. So if Tua doesn't uh, perform up to standard, they got Teddy Bridgewater at least right yeah. to to back him up. So that'll be uh, you know a nice option to have. But yeah, I mean all eyes are on on Tua now. Uh, you know the complaint or some of the complaints were, you know, not having enough around him or the coaching or what have you. Uh, they made the big coaching move. I know that a lot of people have had fun at the expense of, or not at the expense of, but have had fun with whole, what does Brian Flores think right now? As they're going out and trading yeah. for Tyreek Hill and signing Teron Armstead and doing all these different things. Like, yeah, I, I do. I am curious to know what he thinks about all of well, that. But I, I, if I were him, I'm thinking like I've clearly affected them. In yeah, that, uh, because clearly. because if he's accusing them of throwing things, they need to. What this is is pay no attention to that. Look at all we got Tyreek Hill now, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean the the Hill move alone was a was a big time blockbuster move for Miami. So yeah, they're in it to win it. I mean they've been very active and uh, they've been you know like you have them at number one. I mean I think a lot of people would say they probably headlined the offs. But it's been one of the most remarkable NFL mm -hmm. free agency periods. So yeah, a lot of credit to the Finns for going for it. And now the big question is just is it enough? And is two of the guy? I mean you know you don't want to call it too early because he's only been in the league a couple of years and he's also had injury issues. But you know you kind of are at a point where you need to find out sooner rather than later yeah. if, if this is the dude that you're building everything yeah. around the next few and, years. And I didn't include the Broncos on this list, although I love Russell Wilson going there. I think he's got a lot of weapons. He's going to win. But he was the one move I, I liked. And Randy Gregory I kind of like, but you know Russell Wilson is the only one I really like there. Okay, I was going to ask you about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Valdez Scantling signing by the Chiefs is not going to replace Tyreek Hill, but one thing he did do with Green Bay was average 17.5 yards per catch since he entered the NFL. They, they don't need him to be Tyreek Hill necessarily. Just need, yeah, yeah, but that does help stretch a little bit of the field, and he had some issues at times with drops or whatever. No drops uh, last year, though. The 